This is Polyvision's TS board. So TS stands for touch sensitive. Um, this type of board uses resistive touch technology. And so it's very convenient for students and educators in the classroom just to come right up to the board and to just feel free to navigate their computer with a touch of a finger. Um, because this is touch sensitive technology, you can also quickly use these 20 icons on the left hand side of your board. Um, these are all functions of our Polyvision driver. And so there's no difficult software you need to learn. You can just, it's literally plug and play technology. If I want to quickly switch to a pen tool, you know, I can tap this tool right here. That's my toggle between cursor and pen. And now I'm able to just annotate with a touch of a finger. If I wanted to switch to a blue line, I can simply touch blue. And now I have blue that I'm able to annotate on the screen. What's also ni a nice function of the Polyvision driver is that if you are in a pen tool and you touch the previous arrow, you can always bring up a blank screen. This is really important for instruction because you can toggle between the blank screen to take any additional notes or do a review or brainstorm with your students. And then when you touch the forward arrow, you can return to the information that you're preparing and presenting on your desktop. Um, other tools, one thing that is extremely nice is if you touch this painter's palette, it shows you all of the different pen options. So you'll notice that there's narrow width pens, medium width pens, wide width pens. There's also smooth and dotted lines available. Um, there's also the addition of yellow pen tools and orange pen tools within the painter's palette. And then on the far right side, you have a yellow highlighter, a red highlighter, and a blue highlighter. These are transparent. So if I select my yellow highlighter, you'll see that I can still see the text underneath my annotation. Um, one thing that's also nice with these boards is that you can now, you also have three options for erasing. This is a narrow erase, a wide erase, and an erase all. So you can see the difference is here. If I have multiple lines on my screen, if I select a narrow erase, this is ideal if you just want to erase a small amount of information. This is my wide erase that's much larger. And then if I wanted to get rid of all of the annotations on my screen, I can just simply touch the eraser with the X, and that's all gone. Um, one thing that's also nice, if I am anywhere on my computer, let's say I'm online, and I'm presenting information and I need to emphasize key points for my students, if I switch to a pen tool, and you know, if I use a highlighter tool to emphasize certain information, or if I select a line tool, you know, to emphasize certain information, I also have a print and a save feature on my TS board. So if I touch save, um, I'm automatically taking a screen capture of everything I see on my screen and all of my annotations. And if I touch print, I'm able to just print directly from my board. So this is ideal if you have students who are absent or students who are on an IEP. They automatically have all of that information at their fingertips. 